So there's a lot of ways you can play grounded. I mean, there's like 90 weapons in the game. You can really pick and choose how you want to do it. Like there's quite literally even magic. Uh, I'm not going to do any of that though. Instead, I'm going to return to caveman. It's just rocks. Bruh. Clearly these do like no damage whatsoever. Is it better if I throw them? I don't even know. At least it can like stun them that way. More importantly, I want to try and beat the brood mother with nothing but rocks. Oh, I got to find a way to level this up. That's for sure. I've been bashing these guys for a while and they're still not dead. Yeet. You run from me, you coward. No, hey, get back here. Stun him. Stun him. No, I missed that. He's trying to run away. Nope. I will kill one of you. Ha, got him. Stupid jerk. Oh. Now that I've gotten a taste of it, this kind of rocks. Yeah, pun intended. First things first, though, I need to run back to my house. As there's a lot of things we can do that should help me out that's better than just, you know, beating Broodmother with rock 500,000 times. And that's finding a perfect armor set. First things first, instead of the ladybird shield, we probably want to go fire ant. With the fire ant, I can get the block corrosion, which is nice. Hopefully just do some more damage. As far as armor goes, I'm not really 100% certain what the best way to go here would be. Looking at all the effects, I'm not really seeing much that would be super beneficial except maybe hasty regen so i can just keep doing more damage however i do i have a level 9 ladybug chest piece so i think i'll take this and put that on as it gives me more healing and then widow leggings that way i have more poison damage and parry poison chance now my rocks are coated in poison i find i sometimes coat them in venom and perfect blocks might also poison i can't remember if the brood mother's immune to poison but i'm running out of options here i just kind of have to hope and probably the most important thing thor's pendant it makes me just slightly better in every way. I need all the help I can get. As far as all my mutations go, buff lungs, parry master, mythodadadesiism, pretty much just more stamina, health, and resistance to poison, corporate kickback so I can steal some health, and then I'm gonna go with shock and dismissal. It's like whenever you let an employee go from their job. Helps cut costs. So that's all my gear set. I should probably still make some more potions though, and oh uh, yeah, I still even need one thistle needle before I can even make this thing. Well, that's fine. First, I want two, four, or liquid rages and honestly a green machine for hyper stamina would probably be super helpful just need some algae don't worry i know exactly where to go for both cannonball there's a rock there all right well just lost half my hp not off to a great start for fighting a giant boss with rocks huh just breathe just breathe my therapist tells me i need to calm down that's a big old fish that wants to eat me all right just, oh, hey 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 trudy no Bad, bad Trudy. I haven't actually gotten her to try and jump at me in like nine months. That got me the algae I needed. And now I'm not crazy, right? This is just a thistle plant like right outside of my house. Give me all of you so I never have to come back and do this part again. 25 of them should probably work. All right, one broodmother BLT coming right up. You know what? Another Two of them, one. why not? And then this should let me make seven green machines. Do I have enough stuff for at least five heal bosses? Yeah, I'll take those two. What this is, is the most that? cursed hot bar I've used in a while. All right, well, while that's cooking up, I want to come down here and break more rocks. I can do damage if I throw them. I can only throw them, however, if I have a plethora in my inventory. I never really thought I'd be rock farming, but hey, life takes you in mysterious ways. There's also too many jerks right in front of my face. You're getting seriously fought now. Come on, have at it. No, nope, uh-uh. Just, yep, everyone's dead now. Glad we got that out of our systems. How many rocks is that? 52? Uh, I could throw 52 rocks at the broodmother, right? That'll That'll work. That'll kill her. Probably, maybe, hopefully, probably not. I'm just kind of huffing copium, but that's fine. Wait, what am I doing? I think there's one more thing I can do that'll actually help. Need to run right in here. Oh, uh, yeah. Broodmother mount. Don't really have a good spot for you here. I mean, I'll just throw it on the outside of my building, I guess. Get built. Now I can mark that foe and I deal more damage to her for the next 15 minutes. That might be my saving grace after all of this is over. Ooh, burgers are done. Also, what is all this crude rope? What was I doing with crude rope? I don't know. Make some more of it, I guess. Now, I don't I don't think there's any more buffs that I can get. You think if I took off shocking dismissal and used rock cracker that I would hit faster with the hammers? And by hammers, I mean rocks. This is a pretty decent speed. I think it's the exact same. Well, it was worth a test. Back to shocking dismissal. Bruh. Oh, I think I want to actually go and find three toadstool chunks for just plus attack stamina. Something's tipping me off that the faster I can attack, the better the odds are that I don't end up dead. Cannonball, catch that one just because I can. Style points, thank you. It's important to look cool no matter what you're doing. All right, toadstools, get chopped. Come on. On, break it down. You got it. Do it like a Lucy roll. Here we go. Let's go make me up some grub and then take a nice little nap. Feels like I'm going to bed the last little night before death row, but you know, it's, it's fine. It'll buff probably. Hopefully no, it probably won't. At least I can dream about the new grounded update teaser they put out. Looks like it's going to be a bunch of custom map stuff. And I do love custom maps. Also, fungus pacho. Make, I, I don't know, three of these things just because. Do I look stupid? Be honest. I'm hoping the answer is no, but 
but still. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, I was gonna try and enhance a rock. Huh? This gong only also lasts for like 30 seconds, right? Yeah, attacks do more damage. I wish I could just bring that into the arena with me. That would be handy. Oh, before I forget, let me find my acorn stems. I've got crude rope in my inventory. I just need some weed stems now. You don't mind if I just gather you? Thanks, appreciate you. Someone pointed out that for my base, this is a bit off topic to killing the broodmother, but it's still important for my everyday livelihood. Boy, that a nice comment from long ago mentioned that if I want sap, I don't have to just, you know, run all the way across the pond. I can just hook them up to this little log. How neat is this? Here we go. That's going to be 25 sap now, like every day. Not to sound like a horse here, but nay. Bruh. 30. Grounded devs, I don't suppose you want to add in a slingshot really quick to make rock throws do more damage or something. I think that would be a cool addition. No, just me. All right. Well, to bed it is. This is day like 360 in the world, and I'm about to do what no man has dared done before. Dare, dare did before. Dare. I'm about to go beat a boss with some rocks. Give me my food. Munched. Dump those in. Slurp up some delicious morning dew. Put loadout A and my aphid slippers back on so I can be fast. And there we go. All right, we're off. Wait a second. Go all the way back right now. Yep, come on. Turn it around. Let's get it going, buddy, huh? I still wish I could get you that second friend. I want to take this zip line, which actually puts me much, much closer to the broodmother. I think I want to tire myself out running a marathon all the way to get there. No. No, I'm going to be fighting her for 20 minutes straight. Not to mention fighting her and her stupid little kid she summons. And it's- What? There's a moth on this lantern? I never knew. Sleep peacefully, buddy. Dream well. Maybe I should also go up there and rescue my pets one of these days. I just make a new pet farm. Not farm. That makes it sound bad. Pet sanctuary? That sounds better. That, that sounds nicer. Ow. I'm already going to have to drink one of my potions. Dang it. And I know I mentioned that other zip line was closer, but I still have a ways to run. It's fine. Luckily, my clover stairwell is still here. Bring. Just run up it. Come on, don't even worry about it. The nice thing about having Natural Explorer up to level 3, along with the aphid slippers that just make you go very fast, is that you can just outrun most things. And I should really bring enough silk rope here one day to connect these. Ow, I don't think I can. Hey, 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 about a sneak peek, buddy. Oh my gosh, my rocks do like no damage to these guys. At least I can poison and venom them. And float, and float, and make it there, and make it there. Yes. Honey, I'm almost home. Can I? No, I don't want to fight the baby spiders anymore. I don't want to fight anything. Except for the brood mother in this big scary dark cave. I just plant bombs in here. I just like lay a trap and wait patiently. Whatever. Take the attack boost. Summon them out. And let me make sure I actually put the proper mutations on. There we go. Hey brood mother. Get damaged. Get damaged. Oh wait, I forgot that doesn't exist anymore. Get damaged. All right, I can say we're off to a great start. I've done minimal damage, but that's fine. Just get parried, idiot. Nothing but rocks on you. Parried, blocked, I meant. Wait, I forgot to put my armor on. Now I'm fully equipped. Even better, blocked. This is actually going pretty well. Every once in a while, I get like a yoked blow that does a crap ton of damage. However, uh, the fight doesn't have her minions in it quite yet. She also hasn't debuffed me once, so there's still time. Just keep chucking stuff. The venom's coursing through her veins. Oh, I forgot to block that. Can I even block that? Get, no, ow, don't jump on me. Get stupid children out of here. I just need to venom poison these guys and they should die over time. I'm not afraid to admit that the damage they're doing is pretty annoying though. Not to mention the fact that poison is seeping through my veins. Never mind, venom is seeping through my veins. That's scary. Stupid spiderlings are dead. Parried, parried, parried. Try it again. Okay, that one got through. That one's parried though. Oh, she's stunned. Lash out, lash out. Go! Yes! Look at it! Look at all the damage I'm doing! That was like one bar! You've been- quit running away from me too, you jerk! I hate you! I've always hated you! What are you gonna do? Scream again? No, that? you're attacking my ghost? Okay. Didn't realize she was such an idiot. Yeet. Yeet. Okay, why are there- no. I- no. No one wants these things to come down here and then to debuff me, so they all gotta hit me while I was down and injured. Leave me alone! Quit nipping at my ankles! Get yeeted! Stupid jerk. I'm gonna drink my attack speed recovery thing. Ah, blocked. And I'm very grateful that corporate kickback still gives me my HP. Oh yeah, two for one special here. That was good damage on the orb weavers and her. I can't believe she's actually below half health with this. None of this feels like it should be working. I mean, I guess I did probably pick the most min-maxed way to do it, but still. Also, shout out the venom that's constantly seeping through her veins. We run away. We run away to get our stamina back and reorganize this hotbar. Take the extra health bonus, maybe pick up a rock or two blocked. It's so weird that her timing on her attacks 
is working on me because they're not in 900x speed like the infected broodmother or the widow and okay here we go again there's a lot of things trying to attack me there we go see now that's faster that's more my tempo I'm like jk simmons and whiplash get the stupid orb weaver kids out of here corporate kickback because i'm attacking as fast as i am with my rock is quite literally keeping me at max hp that combined with the ladybug armor dude that's just this is a never die tactic okay i'll die if she like genuinely bites the crap out of me a bunch that's not good quick tactical retreat for a second Yeet. oh she's down to the last three bars i didn't realize she was that close yes all of her kids are dead. It's just her and I now. And I I finally got one lightning strike to proc. Oh, oh, oh. Am I going to throw it? Am I going to throw it? Am I going to... Oh, I should have thrown it. What was I doing? Die, you stupid broodmother. Parried. You've been venomized. You've been poisoned. I don't even think that works on you, though. You've been stun parried. Yeah, stupid jerk. How do you like it, huh? Just rocks. Rocks. Sheer grit. Nothing but my raw skill. I don't even care. Keep attacking, because you're dead. You're dead. Give me your body parts now, and let me pick up all my precious little rocks. I, I need these. I put a lot of hard work into getting these things. Come here. I think this is pretty safe to say that no matter what it isn't grounded, if you put it into my hands, I can kill whatever you want me to go kill. And until the new update comes out, I really don't have much to do left in this world. So I don't know. If you want to see me do something, leave me a comment on what I should do. Or you can just always hope that I read your mind. It's happened once before.